Today we're going to make a simple ticket barcode scanner with Glide and Airtable. In our app we'll have a list of scanned ticket numbers and a button that scans new ones and adds them to the list. At the top of our app we'll have a progress bar showing how many tickets have been scanned and all of this will sync directly with our Airtable base. If you haven't ever worked with barcodes before they're super easy to make. There are many free and paid tools online that let you generate barcodes based on your data. Here's a table of existing ticket numbers that have been logged by hand for our event. In Glide, we'll create a new app and pick this Airtable base as the source. Glide creates a basic app as a starting point. Now, this is a list screen and it's currently showing all of the rows in our table. List screens are great for showing loads of records, but you can't add new components to them. So let's change this screen type to be a detail screen. Now we can add components. First, we'll add an inline list to show all of the tickets that have been scanned and make this a really simple design as there are going to be no images here. Next, we'll add a form button. This will allow us to add new rows for each new ticket that's scanned. In this form screen, Glide has added a few simple entry components for the columns in our table. But we can make this even easier for our users. First, we'll add a barcode scanner, change the title, and make sure that it's connected to our ticket number column. This is the column that it will write to. Next, we'll add two special values. Special values submit data on behalf of the user without them having to do anything. We'll add the current date and time value and the user's email address. And we'll make sure that these are each writing to the correct columns. Finally, we'll add a text entry component and connect it with the notes field in Airtable and we'll expand it a bit to give the user some more room to write. Now when our users scan new tickets, they'll show up in the list and be logged as new rows in Airtable. Next, we need to create the progress bar that will tell us how full our event is. Firstly, we need a value that the progress bar can count. So in the data editor, we'll create a roll up column and make it count up all of the unique values in the ticket number column. Next, we'll add the progress bar and set the column to the rollup that we just created. Now, we've sold 200 tickets in total for this event, so we'll set the minimum to be zero and the maximum to be 200, and then we'll change the style. Now the progress bar updates every time we add new tickets, and we can clearly see how close to full our event is. So that's a very quick look at barcode scanning in Glide. Barcode scanning can fit into a lot of complex workflows, so if you're interested, make sure you check out our community and our university to learn more.